<laughs> good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Boozy Brunch and Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Rodney, and today we have Miss Cook Gotti over here. It's your girl, Cook Gotti. <laughs> we have Miss Shantavia Phyllis Fisher. Good morning, good morning. How are you guys today? I'm down here in Tampa where it's hot. We have on no clothes. We're going to the new beach after uh-huh. this. That's how we get down down here. I'm just playing. But okay, we can go and to I the hope beach. she's going to the beach with her husband, Mr. T.Y. Fisher. I'm taking all these clothes. Uh, what's up? It's a 216 representative. <laughs> Let's go. And last but never least, Mr. Javier Martinez. Buenos dias, buenos dias. All righty, let's get to it. So what are we drinking today? All right, good morning. I am drinking one of my new favorites, mm-hmm. blue ball with All my right. coffee. All right, and I am having me some amaretto sour today. Get a okay, bit. nice amaretto sour. Okay, she went. She ain't gonna be too lit. She ain't gonna be licking phones today with Amaro the Sour. That ain't gonna do it. Mm. Mm. <laughs> don't 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 count it out. Don't don't count it out. Oh gosh, <laughs> she got some rock with her too. <laughs> Javi, the Topo Chico Heart Seltzer. So th- th- these are new to me. They're actually really good. So. Where did you get that at, friend? Um, at Sprouts. Don't lie. You know you used to take that out to Mama Cab. I mean, that next time I go home, I'll, I'll, I'll restock. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all know what I got, man. I got the crown apple. I'm sorry. I was supposed to get something new for y'all this week, another bourbon, but I was not able to get to the liquor store. But, you know, hey, we'll, we'll, we'll get down with the get down. Mm-hmm. With that being said, what is, uh, what's your, what you drinking today, Rodney? What uh, toilet water are you drinking today? <laughs> you know what? You said, here you go. Here you go. Okay. So I have uh, kettle one. Um, it is cucumber and mint vodka. Uh, it is so I'm in a weight loss challenge at Orange Theory. So I mean, I really shouldn't be drinking at all. But if I'm gonna drink, I'm gonna try to drink clean. So it is no carbs, no sugar. Um, it's 30 percent, and yes, it tastes damn near the whole damn bottle for me to get lit. But you know, um, we're not. That's just it. Uh, but on the side, so for the next eight weeks, y'all probably be uh, seeing me drink that. Uh, but on this side, I always have a hard seltzer here, Bud Light. Come on with it, hard soda. Uh, this is classic Light. Coke flavor. And I also have a orange soda flavor over here as well. So, yeah, I'm stock. And like Tay, Tay, I took a note from you from last episode. I had a grilled chicken Caesar salad okay. this morning for breakfast mm-hmm. that I made myself. Okay. And I have a bottle of water over here, 20 ounces. So we are going to be good. I got a spread, friend. I got it too, friend. You got to have that. I learned from the best. I learned from the best. Okay. All right. So let's get into some tea time. This is Tay and Cookie's part. And they're going to, y'all, they're going to give us some stuff. They got some some things they want to get off their chest. So let's get started. Child, let me tell you. This tea right here. Baby. (laughs) Cookie. (laughs) Baby. Let me tell you about your girl, Karen Elaine Johnson. Uh, Y'all know who Karen Elaine Johnson is? The hell? Hell, I didn't even know who it was, but it's your girl, Whippy Goldberg, a.k.a. Miss Seeley, a.k.a. Sister Mary Clearance, okay? Y'all know who she is, Sister (laughs) Ed. Don't think Sister Mary Clearance, man. Karen Elaine Johnson. Oh, Oh, she did a whole 360 by changing that to Whippy. All right. Oh, she, Tay, she you forgot did. Stella got her groove back. She was in there. Yeah. I, she was in a lot of stuff. I can't even come up with all of her names. Oh, like, yeah, it's so yeah. many. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, like, those were the ones that yeah. was on, on, on top of the dome. But mm-hmm. uh, she, she done played yeah. in a lot of stuff. So, let me tell yeah. you about, let me tell y'all about her. So, you know, she's on The View, the show The People View. still watch that? People still uh-huh. watch that. Yeah, people. I, I, I every day watch like clockwork every day. <laughs> I don't get to watch it like that, but a lot of people they get they still get a lot of viewers because it's an ABC show. I think so. Yeah. They're viewed it's like ours is millennials. Theirs are like baby boomers. Oh, um, I would say baby boomers, Generation X, mm. a few millennials, mm. older mu- millennials. Uh, but yeah, baby boomers are definitely what that. What else? Uh, that is? Isn't that a day show there? <laughs> Yes, the daytime. It is. Daytime show. Yeah. 
Yeah, what what else the baby Congrats. mama do? Yeah. They kick me. Complaining. <laughs> They, they over there with that TV. Mm, girl, did you hear about whipping girl on the TV? That what they oh, over there okay. doing? Clean. Not clean. <laughs> <laughs> I heard clean, so clean. So, so Whoopi had made a comment on the um on the view. They were let me give y'all a little backstory. Yeah. Allegedly. Okay. No, this ain't allegedly, friend, because this happened. Yeah, allegedly, this happened. Yeah, no, these are facts. When you put these out, this is not allegedly. Fact, but this but I'm putting, a, 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 I'm, I'm putting allegedly on here because I don't want no Tasha Cash to come out here, okay? <laughs> okay, so apparently okay. they were discussing a book. This is how it was supposed to supposedly had initially started okay. the conversation. There was a there was discussion there was a discussion about a book called Mouse being banned in the Tennessee schools. And it had some form of nudity in it or something like that. But the book was about the Holocaust and they were supposedly banding it because of the nudity. And Whoopi was like, so they just going to skip over what the book is really about, whatever. They ain't going to even talk about what the book is about. They are just going off the nudity or whatever. So that led up into the conversation where Whoopi made the comment, um, that the Holocaust isn't about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. So that's how that started. Um, basically, what's the lady name? Cook. That had something to say. No, Megan's Megan? not on the show any longer. Joy Behar. Is it, is, it, is, it, is it Barbara Walters? No, or this is, is Joy. It might have been Joy, Joy Behar. Okay. Okay. She, no, had, it she was had some. Joy Behar. Just okay, yeah. So you know they they felt the type of way about they were going it. back and forth. Yeah. So basically, that was the comment, and Whoopi had to apologize. She was she was suspended for two weeks because they basically said the comment was insensitive. Basically. So what do you guys have to say about that? But when when she broke it when she broke it down when Whoopi broke it down logically. What she was what she was saying is that being in that is inhumanity between the races is just specific. The same group of people were divided based off of religious culture. That's that's pretty much what that boiled down to. So I don't I don't want to say she was not wrong for her comment, but I do get the perspective that she was coming from. She wasn't coming from a place of like trying to make it like the Holocaust didn't exist because it was very traumatic experience for those people who were a part of that. I just feel like um, a lot of people didn't take that comment at, at face value for, for what it was. They really just dived in it and tried to tear it apart without not even having any understanding of what she was truly and honestly saying. Hmm. Right. I see. And let me say this. I believe Whoopi was right in what she said for the simple fact that um, it wasn't about race because Jewish people that's not a race. That's a religion. If a Jewish man and a white man stood next to each other, guess what? You would look at them and say they white. Mm-hmm. It's not about race. A Jewish is not a race. It's a religion. And the second that, Megan McCain, when she was on the show, she talked so much cash shit about black folks. It was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And she ain't get suspended. She ain't get fined. None of that shit. But let somebody even mention something. Mm-hmm. It's an issue, and you get suspended. Same thing they did to Nick Cannon, which was some bullshit. But he acted like a little hoe and, and capitulated to what they wanted him to do. So you know, him to get his wild and out show back. I and I see, and that's my thing about it. Like she immediately apologized. She put up a post the same day, and my whole thing is like, I feel like from there it should have been done. She apologized, and mm-hmm. you know, if she offended anyone, you know, it is her personal view. And, you know, it's her opinion. Um, she did say, you know, if I offended anyone, that was not my, uh, you know, not what I was trying to do. My thing is like, OK, they're released. We um, even though Whoopi has apologized, we felt that uh, we we need to give her two weeks to reflect on what she said. They don't make them other people she reflect. Right. When they she she shit about us. Right, right. You, and that's yeah. my thing. Like, right. Why are you making her reflect? Like, okay, I'm gonna reflect my ass to the beach for these two weeks if you want me to reflect. <laughs> well now even come on down here. Even with even with that up. being said, they have now they have a petition that people have started signing online to get her removed. Now I just cannot imagine that 
all of the offensive comments that have been said on this show. It was offensive comments said a few weeks ago um, by the lady on Shark Tank to her. And it wasn't taken out of context for her. It, it's been plenty of times where her, her character has been come into attack and yet nothing gets done. Again, you mentioned Megan. Megan said, called a group of people, you people, on the show, on live air. Do you think she was suspended or anything like that? I just feel like this this is getting too much flat for no reason. Mm-hmm. Just because I think they they want honestly, a reason. I, to, I don't to, know. She's, to it's just get getting too much flat, too show. much attention for her. Yeah, absolutely. I I agree with that. I agree with that. They want a reason because she she has strong opinions and, and strong statements, and like they don't want to hear it. Even when she write, like they don't want to hear it. They they want to get her off the show. They just look for a reason. Listen, Whoopi don't need the yeah. view. The view needs Whoopi. Okay, she's still acting. She's gonna always be, you know, influential to us, and she's gonna always do great things. So it's just like, I mean, she's there, but I mean, I literally just watched the show. But she's just on the show. show Harlem. Okay, she was the professor on Harlem. Okay, like she's she's still up mm-hmm. and current. So I mean, at at this point, it's just like. It's your loss. It's, it really is your loss. She don't need them anyway. Yeah, she don't need them. Like, she's still is doing she the only black like, person on the show? She don't need that show. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I think. Well, in that case, they probably will keep her. So have y'all seen, been seeing what's going on in Canada? Mm-mm. The what's truckers, the, the the truckers, you know, they going on strike. They said they ain't with the uh, oh yeah, with the COVID. Well, yeah, with the with the mandates oh, yeah. in Canada, and they got the they got the roads blocked. Really? Yes, yes. They ain't moving. Mm. So, if, you know, to all the Canadian people up there, man, y'all, y'all hang on, man. Y'all do what y'all need to They're do. Gonna do so hey, what's going on? Is it just straight? They had to get vaccine or or what? Or yeah, they trying to put mandates on a you know on the truckers or whatever. Yeah, and it's, like, it's, why it's a mandate need that? for vaccination. Gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. And uh, the, they the, they just ain't having it. So you know what? Now that you mentioned that Ty, uh, which is I mean, it's not about the truckers, but I just thought about this. You know, y'all mm-hmm. girl from uh, what's that show you told me to watch? Um, crap. Yes, Around you the know world. the ball head when it's not coming back. No, she won't. She doesn't no. want to follow the COVID protocols. No, that they have, so she's not going to be on she the. She's one of my season. favorite cat. Oh my mm-hmm. god. Yeah. She's like one of my favorites. No. She's gone. Oh, I was like, dang, that it sucks. sucks. It does. No, they're, they're lighting up because remember uh, Black Panther, the new Black Panther they wanted to do, they told Letitia, Black Panther's sister in the movie, she didn't want to follow protocols either. They said, okay, well, we done with you. Well, now Disney they came back and said, you know what? It's okay. You don't have to do it. We want you in the new movie. So she got her job back. It's so weird um, because you, Ty, uh, another person, me and Tay, uh, we watched the show nine one one, and the dad who used to play uh, the dad in Soul Food, the TV show, the series, the bald head, light skinned guy. I can't remember his name. Uh, uh, I know you talking about who? Who talking about Kenny on Soul Food? Is it Kenny on Soul Food? It might be Kenny on Soul Food, but the one that was with Vivica Fox. Is that the bald head, light skinned man? I'm talking about the mm-hmm. the, 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 the the series, not the movie. Yeah. Oh, yes. okay. Well, he was on the show nine one one with Fox, and she's ma- he's married to he was married to Athena. Yeah. Yes, 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 and then came out gay. Yes, exactly. Oh, you watch it too, Cookie? Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. I didn't know you watched uh-huh, it. Yeah. Absolutely, it's my favorite. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> is it is it Rockman Dunbar? You got a picture? I don't know his name. Uh, Michael Grant. He played Michael Grant on um, on, on the show. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, they um, on the end of last season, um, they wrote it off. Whereas he's going to Haiti to help um, his fiance, um, who is a doctor. He's a doctor, and he's going off with him because they got engaged. But behind, really, I read into it. I was like, did he leave? He did leave because he didn't follow the COVID protocols. He didn't want to. So, but they didn't write him off a hundred percent. Um, I think it's for now, but that's how they, they left it open ended. He's in Haiti. He's not like dead or anything like that. But I've I've been seeing it happen, that's for sure. So it's it's interesting. But it's interesting how you said um Disney allowed, you know, ignored it for um the girl doing the Black Panther. So I don't know. I guess it's mm-hmm. your significance or your, your relevance uh that makes a difference. I don't know. 
Who knows? Who knows? Well, well not only that, but y'all, since y'all in the government, you know, world, y'all kind of, y'all, you know, you saw what the Supreme Court did where they blocked it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, you know, you're not mandated to do anything anymore. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I think maybe things will start to change a little bit with, with whatever's going on. But uh, Michael, now when well, he in the game still, so. He still got. He is in the game, huh? I forgot he was on that game. Yeah, he's oh, okay. he in the game. Yes, yes. Oh, I forgot yeah. about. I haven't seen. Wait, I haven't watched a few last few episodes. I think the last. I'm done okay. with it. Okay, um, I do need to catch up on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so switching cues. Um, Cookie, are you still there? Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, she's there. All right. I so am. there was a comment. I was uh I it's that on red sour must be hidden. I was um doing some little fishing on the web. The I'm already sour. <laughs> and on the I, I noticed that there was a comment on your Facebook that I, I would love to get into. Um we won't say by who, we won't mention this person, but I will read it. And I quote, yay, Rihanna pregnant with no ring nor commitment. Their perpetual cycle continues. So influential. So, Cookie, what do you think about that? I have so many feelings about this. Um, First of all, I don't understand what the obsession is with um, monitoring other people's bodies and what they choose to do and who they choose to do it with and how they choose to do it. That's number one. Number two, we don't know what um, logistics Rihanna and ASAP Rocky came up with. They've been together for for a minute now. Yes, you know, they're not married. They're committed to each other. I don't see the difference. But um, also, just like to give a little backstory, this one particular person, he always throws jabs at single moms. He doesn't care if you're a single mom that um, went through a divorce. He doesn't care if uh, he doesn't care if you're a single mom that, you know, was domestically abused. He's one of those people that thinks that, hey, no matter what, if you build a family, you should stay in the family pretty, pretty much. Um, I literally had a run in not too long ago where it it just rubbed me the wrong way because I'm a single mom and I feel like at the end of the day, I didn't I didn't ask to be a single mom. So I don't need anybody narrating my story for me and I feel like that's what he does a lot with this situation with Rihanna so what she's not a single mom she's she's partnered with somebody and logistically they could be like Oprah and uh Stedman she said they will never get married they have too much too many assets they have too much money at, at stake to be worried about um the logistics of getting married how would things be split prenups they're not gonna do that um uh, but this whole situation is it's to me, it's I, I just hate the whole image of this, and it makes people feel bad about their situation. I cannot help that I'm a single parent. I didn't ask to be dealt these cards, but in this situation, Rihanna is not a single parent. She's not. They're going to be co-parenting this kid together. We don't know what the future holds. They <laughs> might get married. They might be in a committed relationship, but we do not know what the future holds. So it's best. For me, my my whole motto for 2022, keep your mouth off people business. If you don't got no stake in it and it don't apply to you, just leave it alone. And Absolutely. that's my opinion. That's my strong opinion. Do y'all have an opinion about this? Because am I am I wrong for the for the way that I'm thinking about this? Because I'm just not thinking that um she's just another single mom that will fit the narrative. I, I definitely agree you with know? you. And you know it was funny. Um I, the comments below, there are I was there's some men on there who actually really <laughs> agreed with him, and I was like, wait, like y'all really agree with what, he, what what he's saying, which is a whole bunch of cat bullshit, if you ask me. And um, when it comes, like you said, there she's not a single parent. She might have a, a, a she might be the only one in that household, but there is a such thing as co-parenting. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't ask for the situations. I'm pretty sure that any mother would want their 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 child's father in the picture, you know. So to like throw shame on that or no, it's not cool. It's not cool. Tay, what were you going to say? Mm? Oh, sorry, T. One of y'all. Yeah, what's 
I was gonna say something before before him. I feel like what is wrong with that dude? Like what happened to him to make exactly. him want to single out women? Like something is there some type of trauma? It has to be. Like was was his mom a single mother? What happened to him? Because like he's just bashing single single women. Something had to have happened to make him act the way that he's acting. Listen, I, mean, in my opinion, I don't think you can paint it gets Rihanna. Worse. It, it gets way worse. If you just follow him, it gets worse. It gets worse. I, I don't think you can paint Rihanna with the same brush that she can paint a regular woman. You know what I'm saying? Considering they got money. Right. Maybe his point of view is coming from the fact that, oh, you're a single mom and you ain't got no money. So now that child is going to be uh, uh, at a disadvantage. Rihanna's situation is completely different. She got money. ASAP got money. Um, whether they get married or to, or or not or just become straight, you know, what I'm saying co-parents or that right now they're in a relationship. They good. Who's to say marriage is going to make that any better or worse? But that child is okay. is going to be taken care of. You ain't got to worry about that. So yeah, she can buy a new daddy for that no, child if she her. wanted to. She got no. Yeah, if she asked me to be the daddy, I am the father. Okay, buy a new daddy. So whoever this okay. social media dude is who wrote this shit, like I think he he's, uh, he's completely. Bro, he he's out of line for this comment. Maybe you should say that I, shit for uh. I'm telling y'all for, for Sarah or 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 uh or Quan Quan or La on the corner. <laughs> got, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who is a single mother? Oh. Who's a, who, who's a single mother <laughs> and she in a fucked up situation? And that child is, you know, what I'm saying, don't have that kind of outlook. But you, this is a fine line. You know what I'm saying? He probably should have kept that shit to himself. Uh, and he trying no. to get attention or yeah. something. When I say it gets worse, I'm telling you guys, it gets worse. Like he this is not like this is what this was a mild comment compared to what he's had. He said, um, more so recently, like, um, and he does he does controversial stuff, I think, just to see, you know, who will respond where. Mm-hmm. And he gets mad when people don't agree with his stances. Like he said the other day, pretty much, any man that um freely nuts in a woman needs to be like basically euthanized is is what he said and I'm like what wait what and then he'll say really it's just it's weird energy yes he really pretty much said that but nobody nobody agrees so he's like oh well nobody agrees me there but as soon as he said something about single women or single moms or you know everybody be jumping on you jump on the bandwagon you jump on whatever I'm a single mom. My child does not want for anything financially. I don't have Rihanna money, but baby, I I got I got cookie money, <laughs> and cookie money lasts fine up in here for me and see the kid. So yes, period yes. point blank, I feel like money. whatever I your like choice that. is, marriage is not gonna make it better. Marriage is not gonna be married. Mm-mm. I could have been married to my son's father. Do you think? Lord Jesus, don't no, <laughs> you just don't even <laughs> know the ad. I think you just sometimes. We need to stop trying to uh stop tr- try, stop trying to control everybody's mind by thinking that if you get married, that's the right way to do it. If you're single, that's not the right way to do it. There's no right way to live your life. Live your life 100% what's best for you because what works for me is not probably going to work for you because we did not go through the same circumstances, situations. Because I've been through hell and back, but I'm still standing here. So period, point blank, whatever he be saying. I got more to come for y'all. I promise you, this is not the first. This is not the last. This is gonna be first of many. He's he's got a, he's a whole time. I, I can't wait. She, look. She didn't be. I can't wait to I hear some more about some this. Some people don't don't. Yeah, she done been in hell and back with gasoline draws on. What you say? Actually, some people don't want the commitment. Some people don't want the 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 commitment of being together with someone. And else. you're right, but okay, so you're right, and that actually leads on to the next topic. And I want Tay to kind of lead this a little bit, and because Javi, you're, you're, I know where we're going with this, and it's going to literally lead right into this. So, Tay, do you think marriage is a choice? I completely think that marriage is a choice. Everything is a choice. Our parents bringing us into the world is mm-hmm. a choice. Okay? Everything is a choice. I feel like with uh, Riri and ASAP, like if they choose to be married, then they choose to be married. If not, if if it's not broke, exactly. don't fix. Because you can get married, <clears throat> excuse me, you can get married 
you can be in a two parent household and, and be married and everything be going wrong. And your kid is seeing all this stuff like you doing this to my mom or vice versa. Now that child is when they're growing up, they're they're going to deal mm-hmm. with that trauma as an adult and it's leading pouring over into their adult lives and now now they're dating and they repeat in the same cycle just because you are married it, you don't, you might not even need to be married like like y'all said with the money like Oprah and instead I mean like it's it's business yeah, there's no benefit for them to it's, be married it's, sometimes it's, it's it's better for you not to be married you can be at one point I was like no I could just I could just be committed to you without Mm -hmm. being on paper. Okay. You could be married without being on paper. The the paper just make it legal for the government or whatever. But sometimes, sometimes it's better, especially in those financial situations, not to get married, set up a trust or put them on the insurance policies and things like that. Because it's, it's just when business is different. You can have love. You can still be in the same household. I think it comes into play with the marriage is when you get into religion and all of that. That's what people all oh, you. You should be married. You having a baby out of wedlock and them baby shower meatballs. You know them out of wedlock baby shower meatballs and it be good and all, but. <laughs> You know that that I think that comes into play why people want people to be married or or they just want the picture. They just want the picture. But you could be smiling. You could be smiling all day long, but you're going through hell behind closed doors. When you get married, it takes a lot to get out. True. Especially when you you're combined as one and everything is together, it takes a lot to Especially get out. If kids now your are child involved. got it. Yeah, now your child got to deal with it. If your child is doing well and they understand um, that they can go to their mom's house or their father's house and you can co-parent and just be on the, on the same level together. Like when me and T.Y., when we weren't together, we co-parented very well. London didn't have not one issue. I'm sure all kids want to see their parents together. But if it's early enough to where you're not, you know, the kid's not understanding the parent and the and um, the mother and the father in the same household, they're going to do two different households. They're understanding that. Well, when you get in that household together and you break apart, you're gonna create a lot mm-hmm. of trauma. I feel I do feel like I do feel like marriage is a choice, and I I feel like people should make the best choice for them and for their children. Like Don't do it because nobody else expects you to, or the expectation. I feel like society. It's just created that norm where you, you know, like you're supposed to do it and you're supposed to do it by this age. If you ain't doing it by this age, then there's a problem. Mm-hmm. But, you know, now uh, we see it a little more. But, I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with, uh, what is it called? A domestic partnership? Is that what we call it? Yes. 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 Domestic partnership. There's nothing. Common law marriage. Y- yes. There's yes. nothing. That's what it's called. There's nothing yeah. wrong That's with true. that. I mean, um, if you... Love is the key. You know what I'm saying? If you love each other and you can express that without having to legally put it on a paper, then I mean, what is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? It's something Uh, that. I I love my wife. Right. However, our marriage is a business decision. She had 30 goats. I had 20 cows. We could find our goats and cows (laughs) together. And now we got to, you know what I'm saying? We got a stockpile. And that, and, and that, yeah, that, and that, and that is the origin of marriage. You would marry into another family because they had wealth, right? And you wanted to bring that over. It ain't had shit to do with love. I think now we get a little bit confused about love over business. And guess what happens when you do love over business? They usually end up in nasty divorces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right, and me and Tina said, "Who needs a heart when a heart can be broken?" Don't, because she sat up all night and watched what love got to do with it, and I and I can't, I can't watch that movie. I don't like to see her get her ass whooped <laughs> so many but, times. Oh. I believe marriage is not just love; it should be also about business too. Mm-hmm. And y'all should have conversations around it. And for ASAP and Rihanna, who knows what the hell they talking about? 
know what I'm saying? They could be like, let's not get married. Let's keep our assets separate. But we just going to take care of this child and we going to rock with each other as long as we can. No. Oh, hell, they could be married separately. I mean, um, not separately, quietly. They could have got married somewhere else and we don't even know. Do you guys think that a lot of people get married for the wrong reasons? I do. Or they feel like obligated by the family that, that they have I to do. get married? Number one reason, because they, because she's pregnant. Which is also the number one worst reason to get married. I, I, oh, I have mixed feelings on that, but I, I do think that I, when I found out I was pregnant with, well, I had already been asked to be, to get married once before I even got pregnant with Sydney. When I found out I was pregnant with Sydney, it was like in overdrive. Like it was like, okay, mm-hmm. I get, you know, some marriage paper, like the the blank papers to fill out. And my grandma would be like, girl, we're going to have a December wedding before the kid get here. And, you know, we're going to do this and do that. So my family had, they was already on board with everything that he wanted. Only thing I needed to do was sign sure. the papers. But people truly and honestly do not know what you go through with a person when the doors close. So you really have to just be careful. Be careful of um, and make yourself aware that everybody's situation is not one size fit all. I'm not getting married to you just because I'm pregnant. That was my choice, but I do know that some women don't have that choice. And that's the sad reality. That's horrible to know that you don't have a choice in, in this situation. I have, I'm have i pregnant. I have to get married because, one, you know, I might not have the financial stability. I might not be able to do this thing on, on my own. Or, you know, we might not be able to co-parent. And I was in a, a space to where I just I wanted to be happy. It didn't matter about being pregnant or if I was going to have to be a single mom or if we're going to still be together. So I think that in the long run, we got to stop choosing these bad decisions just because it'll make somebody happy Mm because it wouldn't have worked out for anybody. Is the pressure pressure of marriage family or is the pressure of marriage societal? Both. I think it's it's a little of both. I think think it depends on it depends on your family because it it depends on your family but it's both. But my mama, ain't no way she was like she would ever be like, oh, you, you pregnant, you need to get married. But a lot no of them way. are. A lot of them she are. Gonna, she's going to look, she's going to look at that whole situation and, and see, she might have got pregnant by the wrong guy and then his family. And do we, do she need that in her life? You know, now this, this guy's family might be drama, chaotic, crazy, whatever, mm-hmm. or it could be good or whatever. She's gonna look at that. Do I want that for my daughter and my and my granddaughter? The, the person you sleep with, should you sleep with them based on what? Based on love, lust, or financial stability? Huh? Right. What you mean, right. sleep with, or you just get pregnant by? Because no, 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 you, no, you no, can no, just no. sleep around and have no, fun. No, because right. if you sleeping, if you sleeping around, there is a chance that you can get pregnant. So, should you be sleep? Would you be sleeping around with somebody who's not financially stable, or would but you, you know, be sleeping around with somebody that's financially no. stable? Okay, you know well, you are not asking those kind of questions. Right. Like about this. Yes, that is Javi, Javi, that is accurate. <laughs> that is good. Yeah. But you can get pregnant on a one night stand. So as a woman, That's as a me. woman, how do you how do you make that decision? Do you be like, okay, <laughs> and don't just deliver them now? He got <laughs> what? Yes. <laughs> oh no. Okay, as, yeah. a, as a woman, they deliver Plan B. Play young young listener, some ideas, friend. That's what I'm saying. Like, do you? Uh, you know, you know, nineteen year old me probably wouldn't even thought about that. But it's thirty five year old. Oh, I'm thirty five. <laughs> thirty five year old me. Are oh, you damn right? I'm not about to sleep with your broke ass. And then you get me pregnant, and then you got a pot to piss in. You can't get my baby no diaper. You want to bring her to Parents Choice diaper, and she pisses <laughs> outside. No, sorry. Okay, no. <laughs> no. So no. with, with, with society being the way that it is, are you not considered a gold digger, or is that just? I ain't messing, but I ain't messing with no girls. Is, is uh-huh. that just a conscious, uh-huh. smart decision to be like, I'm not <laughs> gonna put myself in that situation? It's it's a conscious, smart decision for me, in my opinion, but, to put myself in that situation. But I, I also think. But what if you are in that situation with somebody who has money? Y'all have to really, let, let me just say this, because money is not always, uh, messing with someone for security is not always the best thing because people who have money 
or a little bit more controlling than the average person. So I'm, I mess with you and I'm sleep with you, but also if I get pregnant with you, you control what goes on. So, you know, it depends. It depends. Sure. If I mess with you cause you got a little money, I, I just want you to splurge on me. That's a little different. But if you got a dude that's, that makes a lot of money, chances are y'all get a baby with each other. He's going to be a little bit controlling of that whole narrative. So I, it's I my don't, opinion. I, don't but envy y'all and y'all I, I, I date people who I want to um, date and I sleep with, I sleep with people who I want to, because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I can do everything financially for myself. That might not be every woman's story, but I'm not sleeping specifically with somebody based off of what they have. But I also don't want them to not have anything, but it's just not like my initial thing that I think about. You ain't taking care of them is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm yeah, not, nah, nah, I'm not nah, sleeping with somebody that I'm going to nah. have to take care of. I'm, 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 you not, need to be I'm s- not doing that. Like, I'm not no. chasing after you because you got you money. Have to be you need to know that I can take care of myself. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's my whole thing. So care, that, I can take care of myself. I mean. Whatever I require of you, I can do it for myself. Yeah. I agree with that part. Yeah. But even a, even a man with money could be a deadbeat father and vice True. versa. What's the... But How there's no way I'm going to let a man control me whether he has money. If he got a bunch of money, I've dated guys with money, like money, money. But I'm going to let them know. I still go to work. I still can make my money. I can go get my own hair, my own nails, whatever. I can go buy my own clothes. I can do all of that for myself. Whatever I let you do for me is a bonus. But I do want to make sure if Extra. I was in a situation yeah. where I did get pregnant, um, that it's not somebody that, you know just don't have anything like you know what mm-hmm. I mean I don't I I do need him to have a job be able to take care of himself as well as take care of a child mm-hmm. that's good no lazy I don't, I don't do lazy men Javi any comment anybody else to comment before we switch over well I'm glad I married T.Y. I was just telling him the other day I'm like oh I'm so glad that I married you and not none of my ex boyfriends <laughs> <laughs> I was on Facebook and I was scrolling and I'm like oh. I said and then he said me too <laughs> I was like ugh honey <laughs> Try to just, you just look back and you just reflect like oh this was a mistake that was a that mistake was damn that sure was a mistake, mistake. Ugh. Uh, 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 that's funny <laughs> that, that, that's, that's good Mm-mm. all right so no switch gears congratulations T.Y. you have won the prize I won the prize. You won the prize. <laughs> so switching over, switching gears. Y'all ready for some trivia? Come on with it. Oh no, I ain't drinking no shots. I'm not, I'm not fooling you. We know Cookie will because she got two bottles over there. I'm gonna take oh, one good. shot. The whole she got that Tito thing. She ain't got. She got yeah. no. She got Ciroc. No, I'm just playing for you. Oh, uh, Ciroc. I ain't got no Tito's. I got Ciroc today. Oh, okay. Javi, right, let's do us a shot before we get started. And um. Uh, <laughs> he just said he wasn't Ooh. doing no chat. He was like, hey, hey, like, hey. Some of, he did not want to do it. Now you got to do it, man. Peer pressure is a motherfucker. It is. Man. Come on, clank for Ty. You too. Come on. Okay. Uh, no, Ty. I need to see it. In a, no, this is full of alcohol. I need to this see is a glass. Yeah, that alcohol. is water. T-Y, I need that to see a glass water. cup. Don't do me like that. Come on. You get on my nerves, man. You wasn't raised right. See, uh, all right, clank. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. <laughs> no comment. I hope you ain't got no homework, Harvey. Uh-uh. He got homework. <laughs> I do, too. That's what. Y'all ain't doing no homework today. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> I might. I, I might not. It just depends on. I'm on, you know. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad. Cookie over here drinking these damn amaretto sours like she had the club. Like she had. Like, like she, she had, had Applebee's getting them for a dollar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they better be stronger than you. It don't matter. You know, so you drinking the Armoretta sours and that and that music hit you, boy. You act a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, <laughs> this week we are doing something different for trivia. Okay, it's gonna be a little harder for you. All right, it's a little challenging, but you know, it's gonna I, for some of you. So uh, instead of musical trivia, we are doing cultural tags. I thought that would okay, be fun. Okay, for the for the friends that's out there who can't see the video, mm-hmm. 
Rodney got these damn cue cards like he's Steve Harvey on Family okay, Feud. Okay. This shit <laughs> cracks me up. Or Andy okay. from the Housewives. Andy Cohen. <laughs> I do have my cue cards, okay? I like to know. So y'all might need a pencil or a piece of paper or a phone to um, be able to write down the, the, the tag. We're playing a whole game. Right. Okay, we're going to see what you got. Okay. I don't want to play. I use my, I use my okay. sticky notes. So T-Y, D, so I, I give you the letters, and you guys got to f- tell me what the, the letters stand for for the phrase. Okay? Mm-hmm. D-I-L-L. B B T F T Y. D I L B B what? T F T Y. T. D I B B L. D I L L B B T F T Y. Didn't I? Nah, fuck that bullshit. Didn't I let? No. Didn't I let? Do Do, do I, I look, look like? like... Boo boo the fool. Yes, good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I said big boo boo. My mama to loved you. to say, do, do I, I, do I look like boo boo the fool to, to you? you. Oh, that's funny. Okay. See, I just found I just found out what I Y K Y K means. If so, you know, you know. This bitch, this game, I, I'm, I'm going ahead to take well, it. I got one for you, Javi. It's real easy. I picked someone, um, uh, I put some that I could go for you. Okay, so Javi. Y L J L Y M Y L J L Y M M and I'm a, and y'all can help. Uh, I'm a, so they say this a lot. A old oh, I know this. Yeah, I know old this person already. probably gonna come up to you at the at the at the family reunion and say this to you. Javi, your abuela would say this to you. You want a shot? Let's stick with the letters, the characters. Come on. Yep. She gonna say it. Hell yeah. Y L. May they got some rest in peace. Y L J L Y M. Um, you damn. I know Tay and Cookie know this. Looking. Mm-hmm. You know it. This no, sounds I have old, no idea. Old, old folks love to say It's just like shit. a southern thing, like a southern saying. It is in a way, but you would know it. You you have the you right. Think about it. Tay, yeah. if I come like, ooh, you sure do. Don't nobody know. Okay. Cookie, no. you ain't got no idea. T.Y., help him. Cookie, do you know? I know. Go ahead, T.Y. You look, just, you look is just like your mama. Thank you. Oh. Where did W come from on my trip? What W you talking about? <laughs> there was no W for you. That's why I can't figure it out. <laughs> It was Y L J L Y M. Look, I had Y L J L Y M. Y L J L Y M. I mean, no, I had W L. I had Y L. That's why I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. Like, oh, Rodney, like, you should have put right. a uh, you, sh- you should have put a U between yeah, the Y and the M. You look just like your ugly ass mom. Oh, ah. now you disrespectful. Ah. Okay, let's get let's talk. <laughs> Tay, hey, I'm gonna give you a. Um, Let me make sure. Tay, I'm gonna give you a, co- a, a, a church culture tag. Okay. Okay. Oh, she know all these. Okay. She, know, she know she a PK. Okay. Let the church say amen. R O A T S H. R O A T S H. R O A T S. And I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna get, and I'll give you a hint. Roaches in the kitchen. Um, the pastor says. <laughs> The pastor says R O A T S H R O A T S. The pastor says it, and he might, he might say it uh, during a prayer or after a prayer. Reach out <laughs> and text <laughs> somebody. somebody. <laughs> Look, we got reach out and text somebody. Well, first of all, that's a secular song. Somebody. Oh, my God. <laughs> Make this what? Well, I thought I, I thought she was she gonna be like turn to your neighbor. neighbor. That's what I was looking for. I'm like, nah, that ain't turn to your neighbor. Okay, T-Y. Right. T-Y, this was like, for you. Oh. Um, this is another church one. Wait, did she get it right? She did. Yes, yeah, she did. Reach, she reach out, out and touch my hand. T Y, this one is S S T T Y N A S N. S T T Y N 
A S N. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a church one. The pastor will say this too. Okay, okay, okay. I know it's turn to your neighbor and turn something. S is, I don't know what S is, but I know it's T T Y N. Just turn to your neighbor and say, No. No. Turn to your neighbor and and I don't know. I'm lost on this one. And what the S is, I don't know. What's the S? What the S mean? Sit somebody, somebody, probably somebody else. Somebody turn to your neighbor and say, Now, no. Somebody turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. <laughs> neighbor? Yeah. Oh neighbor. Ah. <laughs> 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 These, These are, are hilarious. hilarious. Okay, Cookie. I forgot. Um, oh, yes. yes, Cookie. This is what your Somebody grandma. Somebody turn to your neighbor. Oh. <laughs> this okay, is what no. your grandma tells you, Cookie, when um, y'all go out, when you was a little girl and y'all would go somewhere. WWG. T-T-S-D-T-N. W-W-G. T-T-S-D-T-N. D-T-N. Actually, all y'all should know this. So you, you with your grandma, you with your auntie, they taking you somewhere? Not me. Okay. Yeah, you, Javi. I know and you. That, I know and think about this. They're, this. they're giving you a rule. They give you a rule before they take you. Oh, when you when we go to this store, don't touch nothing. That's when we get to this store, That's don't a, touch nothing. Yeah, she got it right. But however, that language would have been that language would have been a little it, bit different. Oh, Cookie got it. Oh yeah. It's when we when we get to this store, don't you touch shit. Don't you ask for shit. Okay. Don't you look at shit. Okay, literally. Don't you say <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, back, in the, back, in the, back in the day, as a millennial, back in the day, our parents would say this, or they'd be like, "Stay your ass in this car," mm-hmm, mm-hmm. because they was on that certain budget, and they if they they knew if they took your ass in that store, you was gonna be asking for shit, and they ain't really want to have no conversation or argument with your ass. See, I still say it, especially at the Asia store, at the uh, beauty supply. Okay. Don't touch shit because they could they already be looking crazy, and I can buy everything I okay. want about here. Like, no touch, nothing on break, man, because I ain't <laughs> no. Wait a minute, now. That ain't right. Hmm. Y'all, I don't know. This is so crazy. When we don't, when we go to the store, don't touch nothing. Why, why, um, just a side, side part to this. Mm-hmm. Why y'all, um, mamas always got McDonald's money for their grandkids and then don't got, didn't have McDonald's money That's for another conversation. Oh, that okay. is a good shit. That is a hot topic right there. Eat what was at the uh, house? We, uh, we got McDonald's at the house. Listen, red hot dogs. I mean, <laughs> not the red one. My parents would say, then my oh, mama used to we try to go to the Christian the meat house. store and get some chicken nuggets. Them is not McDonald's chicken nuggets. Okay. Mm-hmm. No, mm-hmm. my mama used to go to the Christian meat store. What is what this? What is a Christian meat store? <laughs> chicken nuggets. Yeah, I don't well, know about a Christian no, meat store. Girl. What's that? That's the, uh, the Christian meat store, Lisa, y'all, the Christian meat store is where they get all the, the, the low, the low price meats. Like say, for instance, in our area, we got like butchers that have fresh, you know, meats and stuff like that. They bring them to that store. And then also they get stuff like, um, maybe it might be like bags of chicken nuggets that are similar to McDonald's or similar to Burger King chicken nuggets, but they sell them at this store or similar to like the chicken patties from Chick-fil-A. They all have similarities. They like knockoff brands but it'd be good the sometimes. is this like the flea market sometimes no it's a meat store it's like a pretty much a little it's the flea market of meats it's the flea market of meats <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm thinking like, okay, it sounds like you can walk and pick what you want okay yo it's the, it's the, it's the meat I remember the it's the swap meat of meats <laughs> swap meat <laughs> I remember the first time I said, I don't eat cereal because I don't drink milk. But I remember the first time my mama took me to Aldi's. Either, it was either Aldi's or Save-A-Lot. 
right? And I was in shock because when you go to all these disabled like they don't have shelves like the regular grocery store. All that shit is still boxes, in boxes, yeah, yes. stacked up, right? And we going down the I don't eat cereal, but we going down the cereal aisle, and they didn't have boxes of cereal. They had bags of cereal. That shit, uh, that shit fuck fucked my mental up. I'm they like, don't even bag your food, food, do they? They they make you just throw it in your trunk, right? Yeah, no, you throw it in a. They put it no. in a grocery cart. You gotta yeah. buy it. So smart, you have to fucking to use one of their carts. You have to fucking yeah, uh, put, put a, quarter a, in. a quarter in. Yo, that was the hustle we had really? back in the day. We would go to all these and stand outside of all these and push carts for people, and they would give us the quarter so you could take it back and get the. You can get the quarter back, right? You would sit and stand out there all day. You man, you make some bread. That is smart. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> they pay. They, they pay. work is good. good. Better than other. Yeah, they do. Uh, they, they starting off as like sixteen, seventeen. Okay, they're above Publix. Damn sure above Publix. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you get that, but you get that Chick Fil A service yeah. at Publix. You do. You do. Okay. My brother Miles work at Publix. Y'all. He tried That's to it. do the daily. He tried to do the daily. I said, <laughs> Miles, are you sure you? You were making them sandwiches fast enough. Tay had it running in last week about the sandwich man. man. So that might have been your brother. <laughs> Listen, he, I said, Miles, you still doing the daily? No, I let it go. It was stressing me out. He let the daily go. I'm back to the carts and bags. I was like, okay, friends. I'm sure he let it go. Uh, right. Well, you know what? He he told <laughs> my brother told them that I'm just gonna try it out because he wanted more hours. He said, I'm gonna try it out. And he said, it's not bad. It's just people and their demands on their sandwiches. They want you to make them so <laughs> fast. And they want it like now. It's like they say what they want on their sandwich and they expect it to like, woo, be there. Okay. Like, that was Tan. That was Tan Pool last week. They had they no, had they, big they, attitudes they, they with that sandwich maker because he was not moving fast <laughs> enough for not, them. But he took like 20 minutes to make a sandwich. It was really He could have been new. But... <laughs> He he was. That's why I was patient with him. Like the line was what? short. It was one. It was one lady in the line when we got there. He took like fifteen minutes to make her sandwich. So then when I got up there, you know, I don't I don't eat the Publix buns. I eat the White Mountain bread. So he was. Like, I'm gonna have to go get it. I said no problem. I was very patient because you know I'm an impatient person. This man, this boy went overseas <laughs> and and got the damn bread and came back like almost ten minutes later. I said, well, damn, if I knew he had to go that far to get it, I would have went and got it and brought it okay. myself. So then, like, I tried to tell him three toppings at a time, so kind of speed him up. But he was, I think he was very new to it. And, uh, it was probably it, his first day. It, it wasn't a good experience. Was, but the thing was, he was making it so it perfect, y'all. And, which was good, which was good. He made it so perfect. But it, was, I could tell he was new doing that. So, And I was like, the thing was, I wasn't even mad at him. But the other people that just walking around standing with their hand on their hip when it was another line right there and they should have been assisting him because other the line started getting long. And I'm like, I'm one of them people like, if I had to wait in line, these other people going to wait in line behind me. See, why one of them people, he would have been like, give me the bun and wrap it up because I don't want these people to wait. No, I'm going to get the same service. Let me tell you something. But he, he took his time and he okay. did a good we, job. My, I had, my mama came to Atlanta a couple of years ago and we don't have Publix in Cleveland or up north, north of the Mason-Dixon line. Anyway, they went to Publix and she got a sandwich made and she's been in love with Publix sandwiches ever since. since. They do have and good like, sandwiches, though. They do. Yeah, I mean, like, they, and I'm sitting there, we in the store, I'm like, it's taking out 20 minutes to make this damn sandwich. My mama up there adding every damn ingredient she could to this raggedy ass sandwich. I'm like, look, it ain't that damn good. <laughs> First of all, it is. It and you ain't got to call it raggedy, it okay? Because it's good. Publish. Wait, do you prefer, you, you prefer Wawa? Oh. I have you know, I, I had a I haven't eaten from the Wawa, 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 Wawa is good yet. Now. Yeah. Wawa is good. You guys are in Florida now, so get your Wawa sandwich. Yep. The yep. Get your you Wawa sandwich. They, they, the the they have a good Thanksgiving bowl. Yeah. I like Wawa. Yeah. I, I like and we have we have them here uh, in DC, believe it or not. They yeah, put raisins think- in their macaroni and cheese at Wawa. What is Wawa? Uh, it's a gas station. Yeah, a gas station. It's a gas station. <laughs> Mm, but, and, like I feel like a lot of northern cheese, people yeah. oh. love wa- their Wawa. Mm, yes. Like all my friends mm-hmm. from up north, they love their Wawa. You need it. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check legit. it out one of these days because they it's don't legit. do it. QT Publix got the best customer service. They, have usually do. they get your ass in and out of that damn gas station. Operating two cash registers at the same two time. Two cash registers. Yep. 
I'm like, oh, that's some training for your ass. Mm-hmm. They don't play no games in in them stores. But I heard for that. I heard that you can't like, you have like maybe 15 minutes of of break and like they're like it's. I feel like they say it's it's good. It's a good gas station, but I feel like they they don't really treat their their mm. employees. They treat their employees like Amazon uh, factory workers. Ooh, oh. not like Jeff. Well, they better be paying them more oh. since they want to With go that up. Super yacht. Oh, you know why? You, you know why? You know why it's going up? Because of that super yacht. Mm-hmm. Child, no, it need to be going up because they need to be paying their oh, workers no, no, better. So no, our no, packages no, can get here no. on time. Elon, not Elon. Uh, uh, no, Jeff, Bezos Jeff Bezos got a yeah. yacht so big that he had to ask the country to tear their bridge down so he can get his yacht through that motherfucker. Yep, that's big. That's. But why do he need a yacht? Exactly. That big? Exactly. He can, but 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 why do you need oh, a yacht that's that big? Because he can. Right yeah, there. I agree. That's another. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, if right. I if I if I had that, we're done with the game. And if I had that money, I would build a yacht okay. right along with your ass, Jeff. And on that note, <laughs> <laughs> I'm put. I'm I'm, I'm attaching. I'm attaching mine to the bag. I'll drag you down. Look, drag you down. I'm going. We're gonna get. We're gonna get that little it. chain. I'll, I'll, like I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. We're gonna tell me across this war. So you guys know, for Black History Month, we have been trying to deliver someone who is influential every week. This week, I chose a person. Unfortunately, no, it is not UTY. You have not made the book yet. But this person, actually, they still let them learn about this in school, surprisingly. So the person is Freja Douglas. Uh, Very popular, everybody knows. Uh, A former escaped slave who became a prominent activist, author, and public speaker. Why did Rodney choose Frederick Douglass? Because he's known, you know, try to choose somebody who's not known. It's actually because of a quote that I was reading this morning and it was very, uh, it inspired me. And I think it's something that we can all put into our daily lives. And it says that if there is no struggle, there is no progress. I would agree with that. Yes. If there is no struggle, there is guy. no progress. <laughs> I like that. So I, um, yeah, I, I really like that. And I thought it could. Uh, Hold up. Wait a minute. What's wrong? Because <laughs> I said Fred got it. Nah, that was Tay. She don't try to get Fred got it, <laughs> baby. No, nah, it's only one got it, and it's two. So chill out. <laughs> so we, I can't. We messed up. Okay. Uh, so we leave that with y'all today, people. As you go into this work week, remember: if there is no struggle, there is no progress. And on that note, Ty and Javi, take us home. Yo, I want all the followers and all our listeners, wherever you uh, listening to this podcast at, if you're in the car, honk the horn. If you're in the car, flush the toilet. I mean, I'm sorry. If you're in the house, flush the toilet. <laughs> if you're in the car, honk the horn. And there come follow is. us <laughs> at uh, Boozy Brunch and Tea on Twitter. Come follow us on BBNT on um, Instagram. And check us out on YouTube, man. If you could come and see our facial expressions, you will be dying laughing. Goodness gracious, he that, that is true. If you have any questions, any comments, suggestions, concerns about what the shit that we talk about, we don't really care. But feel free to text us at 202 978 6628. Love y'all. Oh, thank you guys for tuning in. As always, keep well, stay Bye. safe, and we will see you back next week. Peace out. Bye. Adios. Bye.